Hey, it's Crayon, and I'm going to show you how to create a model, texture the model, and export the model and texture for creation in the COD7 Asset Manager. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is uh, open Maya. And one of the important things uh, to know right off is that Call of Duty is a Z-Up world. And this currently is Y-Up. So we're going to hold down Alt, and we're going to rotate our plane here until we are Z up. Uh, don't worry about making it perfectly straight. Uh, you could do that later. So the first thing we're going to want to do is come over here and create uh, a polygon sphere. And these expand from the center out. So if you want your sphere to be bigger, uh, start up here towards the top. Because this black line right here is the ground. Uh, in the COD world. So anything below that probably wouldn't render correctly. So uh, as you can see we've got a sphere and uh, you can hold down Alt and uh, rotate it to kind of get a look at it. And the next thing we're going to want to do is apply a texture to this sphere. So come over here to your rendering editors and go to Hypershade and come over to textures and these are this is all this menu is all done with right click. So we're going to right click and say create 2D texture. Uh, and we'll just do it cloth. Okay. And uh, the next thing you want to do is right click again and rename. And this will be a uh, MTL for material. Uh, round. And we'll just call it cloth. So we've named our material. And the next thing we want to do is assign the material to the selection. But we don't have anything selected. So what we want to do is come out here and select all. And apply textures material to selection. Okay, now this, this has a cloth texture on it. Uh, which it may, not, uh, it may not appear the way you think it would. Uh, but it, it's just kind of a woven kind of a cloth. So... Uh, the next thing we want to do, uh, since we've got uh, a texture on our ball here, is we want to test texture. And that just kind of shows you what the texture looks like. Uh, and we want to save this image. And we're going to want to save as a TGA file so that Black Ops can read it. And uh, I've already saved it once, but I, I named mine uh, MTL MP Round. And we'll save that. And so we've got a textured model. We've saved our texture. And we are just about ready for the asset manager. Uh, the next thing we need to do is export our model. So we come over to the model exporter. And before you go any further, you're going to want to save your, save your model. And uh, I've always called mine MP round uh, just because it's round. And uh, I save in the default Maya scene folder. Uh, and just because it's easy to get to and uh, we can copy it over to Black Ops later. So save your model and then uh, select all and auto populate from selection select your model and export selected. And we have successfully exported a model with textures. So now we can come over here to our documents Maya and projects and in the scenes folder here's our model export for black ops if you go back to your images folder uh, here's your material file that you'll actually be using in black ops so uh, in the next part we'll copy those over to the black ops folders and create a model with materials in the asset manager uh, once again this is crayon and uh, we'll see you later